closer than normal. I'm going to do the challenge where you can only use three products on your makeup. I would like to do something with my eyes, but I need my concealer. So concealer. I'm trying a new uh, foundation and lipstick. That's my three products. So I'm a finger girl when it comes to um, highlighter and I've got some age spots that I cover up. One over here. And then I've got a scar right here that's really white that I try and cover up a little bit. It doesn't cover very well. Okay. Let's see what we can do about these dark circles. Oh, got too much there. I have to spread it all over my whole forehead. See, that just magically disappears. This, you're not supposed to like go like that. You're supposed to pat. Might need some more, it doesn't feel very wet. Um, yeah, a little bit more. I have such dark circles. I have several concealers. I'm not sure which one I like best. Not 100% loving any of them. Keep trying to find one that I think really covers, and so far I haven't found any. So if you have a perfect concealer you really like, I have this and I haven't tried it yet. I gotta do research again, I forget. I got this little tin of, it had like a crisscross, so it had four different kinds of um, color correctors. And I think I did the research and with dark circles or so dark, your color you're supposed to use is red. And it's supposed to, um, you know, help with the dark circles. All right, that's not too bad. Once we get some of this on, it's like a squirt bottle. It's, I, I did some research and found this, it was like a Pinterest thing or something where it was like the top 10 foundations for aging skin. So this one's CoverGirl. Come on, focus. I'll read it to you. CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless. I think this is like a medium. And it's really light. It kind of sits on top. It doesn't like sink into your wrinkles and make them look worse. Always remember and put foundation up in your hairline. You don't want this like white band right here where you have it rubbed it up into your hairline. <laughs> I, I, was, I saw this, I think it was, I don't know if it was YouTube or Pinterest, but it was, it must have been Pinterest because it was just photos and it was people's makeup mistakes and some of them were just horrendous and one of them is like she had this yellowish foundation on that was just really yellow and then her neck was just totally white so yeah that was bad i mean you need to get your foundation to matches i usually put a bronzer right here but king little can do we're only doing three I should have taken a before and after picture for you. Got that too much right there. This really ends up really thick trying to cover up all those dark shadows. Oh, it's not age, it's just I've always had them. Now, normally I would put blush and bronzer here and here and some highlighter, maybe some highlighter here. I don't usually put highlighter here, but I've seen people do it. My eyebrows are getting gray, so I need to like brush on them. And then of course, some pretty eyeshadow, but with only three, I'm limited. So I'm gonna make my lips really bold so it takes away from the no eyeshadow. I 
I got this lip crayon in my ice cream thing. I think this one, I'm going to do a battle between ice cream and BoxyCharm because I really don't think I need them both. Alrighty. There we go. Three product makeup look. <laughs> what do you think? Not too bad. Could use some eyeshadow, some eyebrow stuff, some blush and bronzer, but it's okay. At least the dark circles aren't near as prominent as they were. So there it is, my five, five, three, three product challenge. I don't know who started the challenge. Um, I don't know if it was Kim. I don't know who started it, but there's a bunch of them floating around, so go watch them. Try it yourself. See what, which three products are most important to you. These are the ones that are most important to me. I have big old wrinkles that if I pull them down, you don't notice them as much. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to, so you'll see this shirt again, because I'm always too lazy to change. I'm going to do Fun Facts Friday, so I will be back with Fun Facts Friday, although you'll probably see this Saturday. So I'll, you'll, I'll, I will have already done Fun Facts Friday by the time you see this on Saturday. 